your syndication deals with investors? Because I think you've got kind of a unique perspective there. I do. I do things differently. Some investors like that. Some do not. Uh, like I like to tell investors, you're not my first priority. <laughs> Normally, investors don't like hearing that, but it's true. They're not. The asset is. If I worry about you and I hurt the asset, you don't get any money. If the asset's successful, everybody's happy. So you are not the first priority. The asset is. And uh, so, yeah, that's how I start off conversations. And uh, <laughs> so it's, it is kind of unique, <laughs> so, um, but it's true. And I, I see too many people, they let the tail wag the dog and they are trying to appease investors when they should be appeasing the fundamental economic success of what they're doing, not the person that gave them money because they do short-term things at long-term consequences. They don't fix things when they should because they want to optimize distributions. They have lower cash on hand. They don't want to tell investors no, or I tell investors no all the time. Um, so I take a very unique approach. But my also other unique approach is they ask, what's your prep? What's your everything? You get everything until you get your money back in profits. Everything. I don't take a split. I call it my fir investor first model. Why? Because I know I'll make all my money and I'm going to take a uh, 50% or 40% or 30% cut at the end. And I know I can do it. So while I say you're not my first priority, you are the first when it comes to returns. So you're not the first priority of the business, the asset is, but you are the first whenever it comes to money or returns. And I'm not only, I'm not second at all. I'm not even third or fourth or fifth. Until you have all your money back in profits, I don't even exist. So if you enjoyed this clip and you want to see the entire episode, click here. And if you want to see other videos similar to this, click here.